Good evening. Right. And welcome once again to the 2013 Caravan Gala. Tonight we are happy to celebrate 32 years of the Mount Carmel Educational Foundation. Tonight's banquet honors a unique group of individuals who travel from three states to teach the young men of Carmel. 21 staff members are Mount Carmel alumni. 21 have been at Mount Carmel for more than 20 years. 90% have a master's degree or higher. All are committed to educating a diverse group of young male students in a Catholic values-based environment where they teach the boys strengths. I want to introduce you to a few of the faculty members who make a difference in our lives every day. I can remember wanting to be a teacher at seventh grade because I thought it would be uh, a really fun job. Math is, is the bulk of what I teach here and one of the things I like about it is uh, it's objective. I teach Spanish. Currently in the last couple years I've taught juniors and seniors and what I enjoy most is, is getting the culture across. I, I teach physics and I love the fact that it is totally uh, about moving around a classroom, demonstrating stuff, integrating technology, all the things that make the you know teaching fun. If I can, when, they're, when they leave, enjoy Spanish or the Spanish culture, that is my job and then they can go on and, and kind of pursue that. Uh, the style that I was exposed to teaching here, which is, you know, thought process over content. I especially like when there's kids who um, believe that they hate math or that they can't do math and I can convince them that it's possible for them, that it's something that they can do. My goal with every class I have ever taught is to teach kids to think critically. But a lot of them, they're really good kids, they have really good hearts. Just when you sit around them or at a restaurant, there's a different kind of kid that we have here. I believe that every kid can learn. They don't all learn at the same rate, but I believe that if they work at it, that even the, the students with the lowest ability can learn. And it's my job to make sure that happens. Mount Carmel student learns a lot here, a real lot. And then they actually get educated too. One of the things I like that I'm able to do here is to address their character, to address how they behave as human beings. If I can be the one that helps them find a little something about the Spanish culture or the language itself and they continue with it, that's, that's what I do. So. Well, I, I teach to boys strengths using some of the Garyan techniques such as competition. When I teach, I try to incorporate some of their strengths, how boys learn, getting them active, getting them uh, from activity to activity. So something that's usually kind of boring all of a sudden is exciting. So it just it works out very conveniently, especially with a classroom of boys, to be able to um, blow stuff up. Um, things, they learn through space, so may, maybe group work, making them move around. I'll get them to the board. I like to let them work in groups. Those are all Gurian techniques and strategies. But first and foremost, I want them to be good people. In 20 years, it really isn't going to matter if they can solve the quadratic formula. Are they good neighbors? Are they good fathers? Are they good husbands? We are always concerned with the ABCs and the 123s, but it never leaves our mind the hidden curriculum of building character for a lifetime. I want students to leave my class wanting more, wanting more Spanish, more culture, and for them to actually take Spanish in college. Are they good citizens? That's my first goal. If after that I can help them along their path in math, great. There's nothing more rewarding to me than when a student comes back and says, I'm taking Spanish and it's easy. Our mission to live with zeal for God, for life, for learning, really sums up what we're all about. To live with zeal. I, I try to get my students to, to do their best in everything. And I think if they can do that, then they're living with the zeal we ask them to live with. To me, it means to do everything to the best of my ability. To just, to just go full out when I, you know every single day. Zeal is passion and we have passion in that order. First of all for God because that oversees everything and then for life for our family and our friends and our neighborhood and then most certainly for learning. Our job here is to plant a seed. If we can get them to get to a certain point and then we might not see what happens after that but we know we've done our job as, as a Carmelite community. The rest of the faculty, uh, they're a really dedicated wonderful group of people. And passion is what makes us especially unique. So you can't do anything but your best. So they're very inspiring, they're very supportive, and those are really the two big reasons that you know I love working here. The teachers that we have are um, above any other institution. Being a Mount Carmel faculty member is much like being a member of an asylum, only goofier. To be a faculty member at Mount Carmel, you are working for the students. You are 
um, helping them in any way, shape or form just become better people first and then after that uh, the subject material falls into place. I love working here. I make the choice to work here and that's part of the package deal. If you're going to be in teaching, it better be a, a vocation as much as an avocation, hobby as much as profession. Yes, of the hats that we wear, sometimes you're asked to do things that you maybe not been the best at or done before. For example, I've coached swimming before for two years, never swam. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier I have a degree in chemistry, I have a degree in math. It wouldn't be that hard to make more money elsewhere, and I think everybody on the staff can say that. The personal sacrifices I've made is I, I have, you know, declined a very uh, lucrative male modeling career in order to stay here employed at Mount Carmel High School. The thing is that we're not motivated by money here. That's not what makes us keep coming back. So I don't look at, I guess I don't look at them as sacrifices. I've hear, I hear stories of other schools but the, the dedication that our teachers have. I have worked in other school settings and I'm telling you that when we say we're a family here, it's a lot different than in other schools. That sense of brotherhood has been innate in the Carmelites since the beginning and it's innate in our school. To be a Mount Carmel student is to be ready for anything and be open. Hopefully they would feel welcome here. There's the chess team, there's CBN, there are places they can go for everyone to find a place to fit and feel like this is home. Do anything and, and just be ready to listen to uh, people that want to teach. When you see how these boys take care of each other during times of, you know, illness or death, it's nobody tells them how to behave. They just, they do it because at their core, they truly care about each other. The Carmelite spirituality and brotherhood, I find, permeates the place, whether it's the student body um, or the camaraderie among the faculty. And the Carmelites draw a certain respect. Uh, when Father Carl or Father Tony walks into a room, there is a presence there. And a lot of schools, Catholic schools, might not have that same uh, religious presence with the faculty and staff show them every day and we show them the right way to behave and so that when they need to, they have that to fall back on. It's an honor, it's a privilege to be a small part of these kids' lives. As they're making their journey, we get to be a small part of it and that's a really, a, it's a gift. I definitely consider myself a professional, but this job is fun. We say, or we always say, uh, high school is about experiences and if we can have them remember Mount Carmel, I mean, we'll be here for a long time. As you can see, Mount Carmel is an extremely special community led by a gifted and dedicated group of faculty and staff. In partnership with the Carmelites, they are continuing our 113-year tradition of excellence. Our faculty and staff are working incredibly hard to achieve incredible results in the classroom and in the Mount Carmel community. When you invest in the Mount Carmel staff, you are investing in my future. I know that the role of my teachers and coaches is paramount to my success as a student and as a man of character not just during my four-year journey with the caravan, but in the years beyond. Please join me in recognizing the time and talents of our faculty and thanking them for the passion with which they live out their vocations. You can follow the example our faculty sets every day and seize this opportunity to live and to give with zeal. Thank you for your support of Mount Carmel High School. And now, Keith, the stage is all yours. Good evening. And welcome once again to the 2013 Caravan Gala. Tonight we are happy to celebrate 32 years of the Mount Carmel Educational Foundation. Tonight's banquet honors a unique group of individuals who travel from three states to teach the young men of Carmel. Good evening, and welcome once again to the 2013 Caravan Gala. Tonight we are happy to... Good evening. And welcome once again to the 2013 Caravan Gala. Tonight we are happy to celebrate 32 years of the Mount Carmel Educational Foundation. Tonight's gala honors a unique group of individuals who travel from three states to teach the